Hi, this is Trailers from Hell. I'm Joe Dante. Uh, today's trailer is a picture that scared the heck out of me when I was a little kid. Uh, it caused me uh, many sleepless nights, uh, for which my parents cursed it. Uh, the name of the picture is Tarantula, and it was the second of the giant bug movies that came out uh, following uh, them. And uh, it just really scared the bejesus out of me. Here it is. In 1953, Warner Brothers made a picture called Them, which is a, uh, a giant ant picture, which is uh, pretty much the template for this kind of movie. And uh, it was followed by a slew of similar pictures, of which this was the first and probably the best. This came out in 1955. Uh, I remember I begged my dad to take me to see this picture. It was only playing on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, and I managed to drag him out uh, to sit through this giant insect movie that was so scary that I spent most of my time in the lobby pacing, worried, terrified that I to go back and look at the giant spider, leaving my father alone in the auditorium watching a giant spider movie that I'm sure was the last thing he wanted to do. I remember the manager pointing me out to somebody else and laughing and like, ah, this kid can't take it. <laughs> anyway, it was a real nightmare producer because the concept here is that Leo G. Carroll is trying to create some sort of nutrient which uh, has a side effect of making everything big and also turning uh, him and a bunch of other people into acromegaliac monsters. Uh, so there was plenty of scary stuff for kids. The spider was scary when he was 50 feet tall, but he was really scary when he was only 5 feet tall, That because he could fit into your bed. Uh, this uh, monster at the window shot uh, became very popular at Universal. They, uh, they used it in a, in a number of ensuing films. Uh, and um, the special effects are actually extremely good. The picture is directed by Jack Arnold, who uh, was quite good at this sort of thing. Um, and there's a lot of um, good mat work, and uh, they used a real spider, which they managed to get to do stuff by uh, hitting with air jets. Apparently this was a sort of a humane uh, treatment of animals, unlike the Bert Gordon pictures, <laughs> where you can actually see the animals dying on screen. Anyway, this is a great picture. I recommend it highly, and Clint Eastwood's in it in a bit part.